Engage New York, lesson number seven. We're gonna be reading pages 22 and 23 of The Most Beautiful Roof in the World. Meg climbs higher into the canopy. The light twinkles brightly. Above her is a cascade of orchids. Suddenly, through the avenues of emerald light, like winged rainbows, two macaws sweep through the canopy. The very air seems splattered with their brilliant color. The, bird, the birds fly in silence, but the spider monkeys screech in alarm. Branches shake. The bright pair settles at a nearby kapok tree. There might be a nest with chicks in it, for this is the time when the young hatch. Or the pair might be foraging in the surrounding mahogany and kapok trees for fruits and nuts. The beaks of macaws are among the most powerful in the world. Macaws can crack almost any nut or seed and also deliver the most wicked of bites. The two birds suddenly explode from the tree like a burst of fireworks and go to another tree nearby. Meg thinks they're most likely foraging for food to bring to their young. They deliver the food by first chewing it up until it is a pulpy mass. Then they swallow and store in a food pouch. When they return to their young, they will regurgitate this food into the mouths of their chicks. Soon, they fly off. Meg wishes James and Edward could have seen them. Meg continues climbing up. She reaches the third platform, 115 feet or 35 meters above ground. This platform is built in the spreading branches of a Nargusta tree. Two lianas snake out of the branch, snake out um, along the branch, seeming to choke it in their twisted grip. From this platform, she has a good view of four ant gardens she is monitoring, as well as two special bromeliads. First, she peeks in on the ant gardens. They appear to be almost hanging with their tendrils of plant roots and vines swaying in the still air. They're actually firmly based in the branches of trees. Ah, there's a new one just beginning, Meg exclaims as she focuses her viewing scope. At the V, where one branch joins another, there appears to be a clump of dirt with several small pear-shaped leaves similar to those of a Christmas cactus projecting. This, in fact, is the foundation for the little treetop farms, so carefully tended by several different species of ants.